What's going on, everybody? So, I was uh, linked up to a video where people are claiming that a breaker, of course, he doesn't have the product on camera, but he ended up taking out one of the hits that somebody paid for. So, the video that I was uh, given, it's I'm going to try to, when I uh, do the actual video up onto this, to make it as large as I can, but it came to me very, very small in a way. And I, you guys will see whenever the video does play. But from what I could tell on to it, one, he doesn't have the product on camera. Two, he's sitting there fumbling around saying that the pack's glued together. And then you hear him moving, doing all kind of stuff, saying one second, two second, guys. And the product's still not on camera. Basically, he comes out saying, I've never seen this before. They shorted us a card. If you've been a breaker for more than a day, you know Tops and Panini are notorious for shorting a card. And then, like, maybe six boxes later, you get an extra card in a pack. So, it, it always, always happens. There's times we're shorted autographs, relics, whatever it may be. My opinion is this. I, I don't trust the guy. I would probably say I'm feeling about 80% that he did steal the hit out of it. Probably even more than that. But that's just my opinion. I just wanted to uh, give the video out to everybody. The you know, regardless if he stole a hit or not, that's why you keep the product on camera. Now, from my understanding, this was an Instagram break, and I think that's why the videos are so small because of uh, uh, the way the guy recorded it off of it. He probably recorded the video off of Instagram, so it's going to look smaller to begin with. If that makes any sense. So I'm going to cut right here, everybody, and then you guys can watch this video. I think it's a few minutes long, and I'll be right back. Trick, mate. Really appreciate it, dude. And hopefully we can pull you something very good. Fingers crossed, mate, as well as helping, you know, line your pockets and make you more money, dude. Hopefully we can make you some more money with some uh, very, very nice UFC select cards here. So good luck, Marshall Fats. Good luck, Patrick, mate. Here we go. I think uh, Patrick's actually got more than one pack as well, so his name... Might be coming out a few times in this. And this pack is a little bit tricky to open. This pack, well, they, well, this pack is really, really difficult to open, man. It's like it got extra glue or something. So hopefully that means there's something very nice inside that Panini are trying to protect. Here we go. First card up. Wait a minute. What is going on here? Guys. Wait a minute, something really weird is going on, guys. I'm really sorry about this, guys. Something very strange has just happened. Um, bear, with, bear with me a second. Give me two secs. Okay, guys, um, I've never, ever, 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 ever seen this happen before. I've never seen this happen before. I'm very, very sorry, guys, but something really fucking weird has just happened. So, basically, boys, what has happened is that pack was, like, very difficult to open. It was almost like it had extra glue on it, but it also felt very light. And there's only four cards in this pack instead of five. Which I've, like, never seen happen before in any trading card product ever. This is very weird. I, I've literally never seen that happen in any trading card product before. I don't know if the rare is missing, but there's only four cards in this pack when there should be five. It was like more difficult to open than it should have been. I've ne never seen that happen ever, boys. That is very, very weird. So we'll, we'll see what we've got here. Hopefully the rare is still in here and hopefully it was just a base card that's missing. But I will 
take care of martial farts. I've, I've, I've never seen that happen before. That's very strange. So we kick things off with a Tyron Woodley base card. We then have a Stipe Miocic base card. Then the rare is a Zabit Magomed Sharapov uh, tricolor. And then finally, we have a Diego Ferreira rookie card. I'm really sorry, boys. I'm actually quite pissed off. Um, that's I've caught, that's caught me out a little bit. Uh, that has caught me out because I don't know if that would have been one of the sign cards that is missing. So it's good that we've got it on camera because if it is one of the sign cards that's missing, I'll obviously be able to um, complain to Panini. But yeah, there's only four cards in that pack when there should be five, and I've never seen that happen before. Um, and there was something wrong with that pack. It wouldn't open as easily as the others. So there seems to be some kind of defect on that, which I've never seen happen before. So I will sort you out, um, Marshall Farts. The rare card is still in there, which is a Zabit. But obviously you are short of another card. And I'm going to be really, really pissed if that is one of the sign cards um it's very annoying and hopefully there's no other packs like that ah uh, very annoying it's actually thrown me off a little bit boys i've never seen that happen before ever i'm really 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 hoping that isn't one of the sign cards missing because that would be dodgy as fuck All right, boys. Uh, I, I, I don't know, Mac. I've never had that problem before, ever. Very strange. I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. Very, very weird. All right, boys. Anyway, let's carry on. Let's carry on, man. Let's go. All right, next pack up. That's actually pissed me off quite a lot. I am very sorry, boys. Just put a bit of a downer on things, actually. I'm just hoping that there's uh, still... Uh, two sign cards to come all right boys all right everybody so i know that video was probably going to end up being smaller and frame wise when you saw it but i'm just curious what everybody's thoughts and opinions are onto that to me i would never get in with a breaker that doesn't keep his product on camera there's just no way that guy sitting there saying he couldn't open it because of the pack then holding it up to his chest. I mean, he could have felt that there was like a thick RPA or something in there. And then swaps it out with something else. You hear all kind of stuff in the background. I kind of remind, remember the guy that uh, said, oh, somebody's at my door? This kind of reminds me of that in a way. To, but this dude stayed on camera, but he just kept the product off camera. It makes you wonder what, what was really in that pack, to be honest. I would be highly upset that if I was in that break and that even happened. Um, just bad overall. Regardless if he stole something or not, product stays on camera at all times. If you can't get that pack open and you're sitting there saying they put extra glue on or something crazy, there's a thing called scissors. Cut along and then just grab it and peel it like a banana right down the center. It'll work every time. Every time. But let me know what you guys think in the comments section. I'm just curious to see if you guys pretty much have the same type of opinion as me on to it. I, I honestly do think, though, that I, I'm almost going to say I'm 100% positive now that the guy did uh, end up taking something out. Probably something big. Because who opens a pack behind, off the camera... And then he looks at it and saying there's something wrong with it like a few seconds later. It, it all just does not add up right. The more and more I keep thinking of it after watching a video a few times. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. And I'll catch you all next video.